Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I'm going to show you in Zoom how to schedule a meeting using Outlook, starting off though with the Zoom app. Then I'll do a recurring meeting, which is going to be interesting. I'll show you how the passwords work and the links work with recurring meetings. I'll also show you how to see all your upcoming meetings when you sign in to the Zoom on their web portal. So let's go ahead and get started with the easy one. I'm going to do a one-time meeting, but I've got the Zoom app pulled up. Just so you know this, I have a Zoom paid account, but also have a Zoom free account. I'm in the free account right now, so it works in both. I know I want to schedule a meeting. And also to show you this before I do this, I'm going to pop up Outlook. I already have it running. I want to point out I do not have any Zoom add-ins or plugins working inside of my Outlook. Here's the Home tab. If I jump to the calendar, there's nothing up here about Zoom. So I'm back in the Zoom app. Here's Schedule. Um, in real life, I would probably rename that uh, topic. I'm going to call this Budget Meeting. I'm going to leave it for today at noon. We're only going to meet for 15 minutes. I would allow the meeting ID to be generated automatically. I would also have a password required. In case you don't know this, if you cancel out of this window right here and come back in, there will be a different password, which is good. So I'm going to do that real quick just to prove that. Just remember it ends with N68. Cancel, schedule, completely different password. So the budget meeting, still at noon. Uh, all optional stuff here. I do want the video on. Audio, I would definitely leave this one. Calendar is Outlook in this example. Like I said, I'll cover these other two in future videos. But I'm going to go down to advanced options. If I'm meeting with people I know, I would probably not enable the waiting room or people that I work with. Um, I would also in, allow them to join before the host. If I was meeting with a client, so this would probably not be called budget meeting, I would probably enable the waiting room if there are seven people from some certain client meeting. So in this example though, I'm just going to enable join before host. Click on schedule. Microsoft Outlook should open up for today's date for noon. And it does. There's my calendar. There's my title, budget meeting, who's required. I'm just going to put in one person here. I'm going to put in my Gmail address. 12 to 12.30, the location has the URL. There's my password down here. The password is also in the URL, so they can just click it. This looks good. Uh, send, update. Let's go see if it's on my calendar and Outlook. There it is. So now I'm going to do a recurring meeting, and I'm going to keep this on Sundays just to keep this easy for me. I'm going to have it start at 1 o'clock and go to 2 o'clock. So let's do this one now. Back to the Zoom app. Schedule again. This one is going to be a marketing meeting. Starts at 1 p.m. and it runs for one hour. It's given me a message about my Zoom basic account has the 40 minute time limit, which is true. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as an hour. If this is a recurring meeting, so watch what happens. So notice the start time, one o'clock, um, one hour. When I select recurring meeting, this disappears because all the recurring features happen inside the calendar application. So I'm going to do this inside the Outlook calendar, the recurring. That's why when I check this, this should disappear. And it does. And it even has something about, remember, handle this in your calendar invitation. Definitely generate automatically. Cool feature about recurring meetings. The URL stays the same. So I'm going to make this recurring every Sunday once a week, every Sunday for four weeks. It'll always be the same URL and it'll always be the same password so people don't have to remember a different password every week. Again, with these options, it's up to you. 
I would enable join before host. I know these people in this example. I'm going to hit schedule. Outlook should appear. Perfect. It's got today's date, which is the 17th, 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Make recurring. So you handle the recurring issue inside the calendar. Even when I show you the uh, Google Calendar, you'll handle it inside the Google Calendar. Weekly, Sunday, we're just going to do this after four occurrences in my example. Hit OK. Let's see if this works. Required. Perfect. Send update, but there's the URL. There's the password. It'll be the same URL and same password for all four meetings. When I click that, let's go see if it worked. Back to Outlook. Here is Sunday the 17th. The next week, the 24th. The 31st and the 7th of June. I just want to take a peek. Just this one. RY, there's your password right there. RYA, jump back to today. Just to prove this. RYA. So we did a single meeting. We just did a recurring meeting. The recurring happens in the Out Outlook program. If you want to see from the app all the meetings you've scheduled, you just go to meetings. A lot of people just don't know that, but there it is. So these are meetings you've scheduled. It doesn't show meetings you've accepted. There's today's budget meeting and recurring meetings. That's 12 to 1230. Recurring meetings don't show you the time, but you can come in here and edit the invitation or you can go to the calendar and view them because you handle it from the calendar. You can also see this. I've already signed in to my free Zoom account. I'm over on meetings. I clicked it and it actually just did a refresh and there they are right here. So there you go. I could start them from here. I could start them from the app. I could go to Outlook and click and the app would open up. That's how easy it is to do Outlook, recurring meetings and single meetings. Thank you for your time. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be covering, oh, I'll be covering Google Calendar this week also. But if you want to download the plugin so you can do the meeting directly from Outlook, you would click on download here. I just want to show you what it looks like. Again, I'm in my calendar. I'm on the home tab. Look up top here in the ribbon. So I already had downloaded this and I decided to turn it off for this video. So this is what the Zoom Outlook plugin will appear as right up here. Hey, so that abruptly cut off. Anyway, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your time and have a great Sunday.